Next month, voters will decide on two controversial ballot initiatives involving Washington's gun laws. Initiative 594 would increase background checks for gun sales, while I-591 would keep things the same. King 5's Amy Marino has more on the debate that hits Seattle streets today. In the midst of the Saturday afternoon shoppers, just down the way from the Hare Krishnas and right behind the jungle gym where kids were playing, so talk to your neighbors, talk to your co-workers. The debate over gun rights was on full display. I never thought I'd be involved in politics ever in my life, but this affects me greatly. While some proudly showed their weapons, unlikely activist Joseph Taylor used words to send his message. It's not necessarily about guns, it's about your rights being impeded on. Taylor and others opposed to I-594 gathered at Westlake Park. They worry if it passes, it will erode their Second Amendment rights and lead to a gun registry. It's flawed. It's deeply flawed. And they're not telling the truth. 594 is not about taking away anybody's guns. And it completely is respecting Second Amendment rights. Of course, supporters of the initiative don't see it that way. They say this is about making sure background checks are used in all gun sales, except on antiques or transfers between immediate family members. The responsibility of any gun owner is to make certain that his or her gun does not fall into criminal hands. And then there's I-591, the other gun initiative that's also on the ballot. It would maintain that we have no stricter provisions than what is the federal standards nationwide. For those who've made up their minds in this debate, the choices are clear. But they admit these dueling initiatives could leave some voters confused. It'll have a huge impact if it passes, definitely, and a negative one at that. Taylor's not sure if his sign will change minds, but he wants people to at least think about it. Hopefully more people see it and, you know, might make them question it, do a little research of themselves. In downtown Seattle, Amy Marino, King 5 News. If both initiatives pass, it, it's believed the court system will ultimately decide what will happen with background checks in Washington state. Well, how Washington buys and sells firearms could be changing come Election Day on November 4th. Initiative 594 would expand background checks across the state. Coma Force Kara Kostinich is live in the Satellite Center tonight with the support and opposition on this very important ballot measure. Hey there, Kara. Hi there, Michelle. Well, the latest Elway polling numbers show that support for 594 has slightly slipped, but numbers do indicate 60% of state voters still support expanding background checks. What is the real motivation behind I-594? There's just 18 days left for state voters to make an important decision. To vote yes or no on universal background checks for gun purchases. Initiative 594. What's really behind this? Here in Westlake Park today, at least 200 people, some packing heat, that oppose background checks. It goes against American principles, and it goes against people's right to own and possess firearms. As a people, will make the right choice. If voters pass 594, the measure would require background checks on everyone purchasing a gun in our state. That includes private sales and buying at gun shows. Only transfers of antique guns and those of family members would be exempt. What is going to happen is that selective enforcement. Opponents like this former Redmond police officer say 594 would not be enforceable by law. It is about criminalizing law-abiding citizens, pure and simple vote no. But those who support this measure have a different perspective. Closing the background check loophole will save people's lives in Washington state. Pastor Sandy Brown helped author 594. He points to other states that have similar programs that have reduced illegal sales of guns. People that have felony convictions, people that have protection orders against them for domestic violence, people who are seriously mentally ill, they can easily get guns online. And we want to stop that. Now the fate of universal background checks is in the hands of Washington's voters. And you've still got plenty of time to make your decision on this measure. Head to our website, comonews.com, for much more information on Initiative 594. Live in the Satellite Center, I'm Kara Kostinich, Como 4 News.